Uh, Miss Takagawa, sorry, these documents seem to not be updated yet. Oh, I thought the graphs should have been added by now. Can you go ahead and talk to Yakarashi and see what's going on? Understood. Miss Takigawa, uh, can you check on this as well? Oh, yeah, the data gathering. I think I asked... Oh, she's working so hard. My name is Ichiro Suzumoto. I'm an employee in Mountain Business. My boss's name is Karen Takigawa. She's a hardcore career-oriented woman, and I've been working hard under her supervision every day. Hey, Suzumoto, can you help me out with the meeting this afternoon? I need some more hands. Huh? But what about the documents from a second ago? That should be done in like 30 minutes. Finish it up and then come with me. Uh, okay. Ah, I can't believe how you're working so hard under that boss. You better relieve some stress somewhere. Ah, <sighs> Yarakashi, I'm fine with it. But about those documents... Oh, I work just hard enough to get by, so sometimes I make mistakes. <laughs> My bad. <sighs> you realize I'm the one that has to cover your ass? <laughs> yeah, yeah. My bad. Ichiro Suzumoto, focus on your work! D yes, ma'am. Seriously, dude. <sighs> How does she work so hard? I could never. Uh, I'm so tired. It's so late. All my co-workers and my bosses have left, but I always have to finish up all the grunt work before I go home. I'm home! However, even in those rough days, I'm able to push forward. Why, you ask? Welcome home, E.T. Help me! Ah, uh, yeah, okay. My boss, Miss Takigawa, uh, no, Karen, is super spoiled by me in our private lives. Relax, they're done well. Be more confident in yourself. We've always been childhood friends, and she frequently comes over to my house to ask for help with work. Ugh, it must be nice to be you. Have so many friends and be able to hold conversations with them. Every time I work, I end up turning into a monster. <laughs> I'm more impressed by how skilled you are, though. When I think that I should at least do work well, everyone keeps asking me for help. I think that's because they're relying on you and your talent. They think that I don't make any mistakes. Mmm, I mean, you really haven't made any mistakes, have you? Um, Karen, I really don't think you need to be so emotional about it. And I'm sure you could find someone else to complain with if it came down to it. No, I can't! Once people find out my true colors, I can never go back to work! Uh... She's an extremely shy person, and she's always worried about whether she's been rude or awkward. That's why she's not able to really vent at all, and she only acts this way towards me, her childhood friend. I mean, I guess it's okay if she's able to do her job, but I don't think it's good for her mental health. Hey! Are you listening to me? Huh? Wh oh, what did you say? These documents! Help me so they're done by morning! If you're not done yet, why did you leave work? They think that I'm the perfect human, so I can't be seen working late! Uh, yet another dilemma. Okay, I'll help out again. Ugh, thank you. I'm saying help, but the documents are practically perfect as they are, so it's not like I needed to do anything. It's basically just time for me to console her. However, it takes a lot of time, so it often takes until morning anyway. Thank you, Itchy! I think this will work. <laughs> That's great. Oh, wait, hang on. The time. We need to go to work. <gasps> oh, crap. We were both busy storming out of the house, but the presentation went well. However, I was facing a different problem. Oh, Suzumoto, thank you. My presentation went perfectly thanks to your help. Th that's good. I I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> What's going on, man? You look sick. Uh, nothing. Man, my bad that my mistake is really causing you a headache. What's going on here? Oh, uh, Yarakashi and his client, he, uh, sent the wrong items. <laughs> I mean, Suzumoto should have checked a little better. Wait, is that gonna be okay? Uh, if we don't get the items in by tomorrow, they're saying they're gonna terminate our contract. What? <laughs> I know, it's really bad, right? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go grab lunch. Dude, what the hell? I never said a single thing about any of the stuff you sent anyway. What? What are you trying to say? 
That I'm at fault here? <laughs> you should have checked better and given me orders, huh? <laughs> Don't make it my fault. <laughs> you piece of... Suzumoto, now is not the time to be fighting. You were told to send the correct items by tomorrow, right? It's okay, if we stay up and work, we can finish it. But we haven't even gotten any sleep last night. Look, we're accepting money for this work. Even if there's a mistake, we have to do what we can to deliver our 100% product to them. Do you understand? K Karin? I was pushed by Karin, so I had to pull an all-nighter two nights in a row. Uh, uh, I'm so sleepy. I feel like this energy drink isn't helping at all. I'm getting old. You're in your 20s! Relax, my guy. Uh, Karen, why are you such a perfectionist? You always try to get a hundred. It's not even your fault. Yeah, but I'm his boss, which means that I need to clean up after my employee's mess. That's what I'm saying. Where does your perfectionism come from? You've always scored 100s, and you cry when you get a 90. Maybe my parents. Huh? My dad went to T-Uni, and my mum went to K-Uni, so both of them are extremely heavy on education. I thought that education meant everything, so I felt like I needed to do everything perfectly. Hmm, I see. I've never played with friends, because all I did was study. I started working at a really good company, so my parents were pretty happy and relieved, but... I thought that maybe I've only ever lived my life to be accepted by them. I was afraid of them losing hope in me. Maybe that's why I'm a perfectionist. Then how come you get along with me? Huh? If you couldn't hang out with friends, why did you hang out with me? Mm, I was probably jealous. Jealous? You had so many friends and your life seemed so bright. I figured if I was around someone like that, I could maybe be like that one day. I was so young, so I don't know if I thought that far, but probably started being attracted towards you because of that. Uh, Karen, you've worked so hard. Always for someone else, too. You're allowed to work hard for yourself now, you understand? For myself? Don't think about what you should do. Think about what you want to do. I'll help, too. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Right now, I need to finish this uh, work. Don't worry, Karen. I got the rest. After I finished the rest of the work, I slept like a baby. The next morning, we were stumbling out of the house again in a hurry to head back to the office. Oh, we made it on time! Oh, they said they would be willing to continue working with us too, but to be careful about any extensions. I mean, as long as they've forgiven us. <laughs> What's going on with you guys? Why are you so sleepy? Uh, Yarakashi. I slept at like 9 p.m. last night and slept for at least 10 hours. <laughs> ah, I feel so refreshed. <laughs> you. Yarakashi. Just so you know, the higher ups have reached out to me. But, uh, what did they say? They said that you're going to be going to the Saihate branch in the middle of nowhere. S Saihate? You mean, the place where there's, like, barely any internet? Yeah. You're going to be going there to fix your attitude. You better be ready to live a tough life. But, but, but... That day, he looked completely pale in the face and worked even less than he did before. I mean, he never really worked hard, but... Karen and I both finished our work and were praised by our bosses. We decided to throw a mini party. This beer is so good after work! <laughs> I mean, that's nice. You uh, shouldn't drink too much because you have barely slept. Come on, we're off tomorrow! There's something I want to do. Hmm? Something you want to do? You told me, remember? Uh huh? That I should prioritize what I want to do. Oh, <laughs> you remembered that. Y you looked so sleepy, I thought you'd forgotten. <laughs> How could I forget? <sighs> Thank you so much. K Karen, are you uh, tearing up? W we should stop the beer, huh? You've always been uh, so quick to cry. <gasps> no! I can only cry in front of you, so I'm going to cry to my heart's content! 
from now on to... in front of you. Uh, Karen? No, I, uh... You know, I've been that way too, only being myself in front of you. In other words, I... I, uh... <coughs> You're asleep? <sighs> I guess I'll ask her out once I'm a better worker, huh? I put a blanket on her and let her go to sleep. I was hoping that I could be a great supporter for her and what she wanted to do starting tomorrow. This is how you solve this. Oh, that makes sense! My name is Koichi. I'm a college student going to a relatively elite university. I live alone on the condition that I pay for my tuition on my own. I need to make money though, so I often tutor students. Uh, I love working at these tutoring places because it pays higher than regular cram school. Huh, you're working hard, huh, Koichi? <laughs> I'm being paid, aren't I? You're seriously one of the best tutors we've got. You're really a great employee. So, uh, Koichi, there's a lot of students that are going to be joining us soon, thanks to my excellent sales efforts. Ah, oh, yeah. We didn't really have a huge influx this season. The person you're going to be assigned to is a student who flunked once and is on her leap year. So, uh, you make sure to support her well. Hmm, okay. Twenty, huh? Same age. This person is flunking the entrance exams at 20, so she must be attempting a pretty difficult college as well. But I didn't hear anything about where she wanted to go. Um, what college did she want to go to? Well, she wouldn't tell me anything when I interviewed her. She was handling all of the reservations and meetings. There must be something going on at home. Hmm, I see. I mean, I'm just going to teach her as best as I can as usual. Hmm, let's see, uh, you must be, uh, Miss Shizuka. Nice to meet you. I'm your tutor, Koichi. Uh, nice to meet you. Alright, uh, let's see what you've got. Uh, go ahead and try to solve as much as you can on this test. I need to see where you are at. Ten minutes later... What? You're on the third question. It's the basics. I don't know what I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, can you tell me where you got stuck? It's one of the most basic parts. What's up with her attitude, too? Does she actually want to study? Hey, I'm bored. But what? We're still in class, and I'm still explaining. I'm bored. I'm gonna go grab some boba tea. There's a store right around the corner. Wait, hey! <laughs> I've never had this happen. She's not focused at all, and I can kind of see how she's flunked this much. Here you go, Teach! Huh? I bought some for you. Oh, uh, I'm working, but... T it's not like it's tequila, come on! Don't be so strict. Mmm, thanks. Oh, that's seven dollars, by the way. <laughs> You're going to ask me for the money? Shizuka wasn't focused at all with her work. She would just keep talking about things other than homework. And then, Yuko tripped! Oh, and Yuko is the girl from Class B. Hmm, yeah, I think I remember you talking about her. Oh wow, you've got a great memory, huh? Phew, I'm tired after talking so much. It's better to let students just talk it out like this, cause eventually they'll want to study. I'm just going to listen and focus on what she's got to say. A few months passed with me acting as her tutor and counselor slash friend. It was summer in no time. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so hot. I need something to drink. Ah, nice. A cafe in the perfect spot. Ah, oh, nice. Whew, let's have some iced coffee. Uh, hmm? That's Miss Shizuka. I saw Shizuka quietly studying away at the table. Wow, she's got so many books open. Maybe she bought stuff other than the stuff that I prepped for her? She's got so many books open, so she must have been studying here for a while now. During the summer, I saw her at the same cafe a few times. Every time I saw her, I saw more books opened. Hey, Teach! Hmm? What? Why are you so happy? The results of my practice are in! Can you look? <laughs> but you haven't figured out which college you want to go to, right? Oh, I just picked Mandayuni. <gasps> 
the same college as me. Oh, that college is tough. But she's not doing too bad. Huh? Still a C, huh? I mean, you didn't even know the basics when you started here during April. Pretty incredible, I think. If you got a C, I think you've got a 50-50 chance of getting in. I think it's pretty insane how far you've come. <laughs> I'm pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, you are. You were working so hard at the cafe. Guess it paid off, huh? Uh, sorry, I've seen you studying a few times at the cafe. You've been studying a lot, huh? How come you can't focus like that during our class? Maybe because you're spoiling me. Uh, huh? I actually grew up in a single mother household. Oh, really? I didn't know. I'd never really met him since my parents got a divorce when I was young. Mom was always at work. That's why I'm not really good at communicating well and I just wanted to be spoiled by someone. <laughs> but what about your classmates? Well, my classmates are friends. I can't ask them to spoil me. I always fight with Mom, just the two of us all the time. Before I knew it, it felt like I didn't belong anywhere, and then I flunked my entrance exam. Oh, Shizuka. I've been causing my mom such a headache. You know how it costs so much money not going to school and studying for the next season? I'm 20 and still taking entrance exams! I didn't want to cause my mom more trouble. I figured I'd go get tutored. That's why she came to the class alone, and did everything on her own. I guess she picked the college that she did so that she would have no problem finding work. I came to get tutored, but I feel like I've just done nothing but be spoiled by you. So I felt like I would end up not starting college again, and... Don't worry. That's not going to happen. Huh? You can come here to be spoiled as much as you like. But you've done that and still managed to score a C in your practice. Let's work a little bit more, and I promise you, I'll do my best for you. I want to go to Mandai. You go to Mandai, right? Okay, I got it. I'm going to make sure that you graduate in the name of my tutoring career. Huh? What's going on, Koichi? We're closing. Sorry, I just wanted to get the materials a little bit better prepped. <laughs> you've changed, huh? What? I don't know. I think you've grown as a human being. The reason you applied was because you thought that the pay was good, but now you're doing it for a different reason, huh? Like, uh, you have a purpose. Hmm, I mean, maybe, yeah. I, uh, just can't leave her alone. Does she remind you of you when you were a student? I mean, a little bit, but I just feel like I can't leave alone someone who's working so hard to get somewhere. Ha! <laughs> You've grown too! <laughs> I'm so proud of you! What? Hey! Stop teasing me! You're going home, right? Go! Oh, come on! Don't be like that! <laughs> what? Are you shy? Uh... Shizuka, you haven't forgotten your paperwork, right? I have it! You got your wieners in your lunchbox? <laughs> because you're going to wean and pass this test! Yes! Jeez! What are you, my mom or something? You have anything else you forgot about? Yes, I'm fine. Calm down! Ow! <sighs> Thanks. I'm gonna give it my all. Yeah, go get him. I sent her off as she went to the exam hall, and just kept praying for questions that she should be able to answer. And then, that spring... Shizuka! Sorry to keep you waiting, Teach! <laughs> you don't have to call me Teach anymore. We're both going to the same college now. Eh, but that's embarrassing. <laughs> Congrats. You really worked hard. It's thanks to you, Teach. Hey. Huh? Here. W what is this? A, a love letter? D no, it's from my mom! Uh huh. When I opened up the letter to start reading, there was paragraph after paragraph of grateful messages written. I knew that she was going to tutoring from a few months ago, but it felt like if I stuck my face in her business, things would somehow screw up. I was so happy for her when she was able to get into the college she wanted to go to. I'm glad that she was able to stumble into a great teacher like you. Please, take care of her. 
Wow. Mom. I see you two are getting along well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Hey, Teach. Show me around the campus. Hmm. How about we start with the cafeteria? The food there is actually pretty decent. Yay! I want to join your club, too. No, I'm not telling you what club I'm in. What? Why? Hmm, because I said so. Oh, what? The cherry blossoms were in full bloom, and she became a peer. Even after becoming my peer, I was going to have to support her. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> I got paid, so let's head to our dreams, baby! My name is Keiichi. I'm just a regular high schooler. My grades are average, and I have no friends. Get out of the way. You're just standing around doing nothing. Oh, Miss Rurina. Miss Rurina was the Madonna of my school. Her grades and looks were perfect, and it was like she was sent from heaven. <sighs> She's completely different from the kind of person I am. I'm sure her hobby is something like sipping tea on a cool afternoon and reading, or something like that. Welcome home, sir! I don't care, though. I'm just going to enjoy my hobby while she enjoys hers. My hobby? It was going to maid cafes! This maid cafe heaven is known for having a bunch of women dressed like manga maids and serving food. I went one time because I got curious, but I couldn't stop afterwards. It's new, but they're already full up on reservations for a month! I'm going to have so much fun today! Welcome home, sir! Right this way! Okay, uh, wait... M Miss Rurina? Huh? What are you doing here? Uh, I could ask you the same thing. What is that outfit? D Stop looking! Uh, sorry, I, I just didn't expect the school Madonna to be working at Manga Heaven as a maid. You look really good in your outfit, though. I said stop looking at me! <laughs> She's working so hard. I wish I could see her like this forever. I've always had a huge crush on her but I knew that it would never work. But I'm okay with looking at her from afar. If I can see her like this again, I'll definitely be reserving again. The next day at school... Man, that was nice. I swear I have extended my lifespan by about five years after what I saw yesterday. Hey, you! Huh? Uh, Miss Rurina! You didn't tell anyone about what you saw yesterday, did you? W what? Uh, about the fact that you work at a maid... Okay, stop! Let me tell you something. If you tell anyone about what you saw, I swear I will tear you a new one. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I have no friends to tell, and it's not like I have anyone else to talk to. Okay, then. If you do tell anyone, you better understand that you won't have a place at this school. <laughs> oh, you're scary. I had no plans to tell anyone but to me. I was pretty happy that I saw her in her maid outfit. She came and talked to me when she was someone I never expected to talk to. Maybe she's going to talk to me during lunch too, huh? A and go home together. <sighs> no, I need to stop with the weird thoughts. I might hurt her. She's just someone I think is incredible. I wanted to make sure I didn't cause her any kind of trouble. I kept that scenario in my head. Time passed and we finished our term exams. Uh, whew, finally done with the exams. I want to treat myself. But if I go to that cafe, Miss Rurina might get mad at me. I'm just a sir to her, though. I shouldn't have to resist going to my own home, huh? I'm going to make my reservation. Luckily, it had been a while after the cafe opened, so I was able to secure a reservation for next week. Welcome home, sir! Uh... I looked around, but didn't see Rurina anywhere. Right this way, sir. Please have a seat. Oh, uh... Sure. I looked everywhere around the store, but she was nowhere to be found. Maybe she was off today? I like this girl too, but I still think Rurina is... 30 minutes later. Hmm, I guess she's not here, huh? Hmm? Is something wrong, sir? Oh, uh, wait. Just as I was about to leave, I saw Miss Rurina. Ah, she just came to work. I guess it was bad timing. Wait, what's she doing over there? Oh! She was cleaning the floor while there were no customers around, and kept cleaning and saying goodbye to customers as they left. 
<sighs> She's seriously such a hard worker. Amazing. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Huh, she's still thanking him. She's seriously so amazing. Uh, she might hate me if I say anything. Um, sir? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I'll come back again. Thank you, sir. Come again soon. The next day, at school... Ah, <sighs> Miss Rurina, beautiful as ever. Hey, you! <gasps> oh my gosh, she's so close. I'm so happy. Are you listening to me? Uh, uh, huh? Uh, uh, are you talking to me? Uh, yes? I have something I need to talk to you about after class, so go to the school entrance after class. Huh? Uh, uh huh? Uh, okay. I was confused, but I said okay and was in shock. Oh, maybe she's going to tell me that she wants to go home with me. I was just fantasizing, but uh, no way. No way! After class... Um, are you listening to me? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, so, do you know a lot about make cafes? Uh, I mean, I go often. Okay then, um, I want to talk to you about something. Talk to me? She told me that she was apparently the least popular at that store and is often assigned grunt work. The most popular girl was the girl that had talked to me when I went there the other day. I mean, it's not like I mind cleaning up or anything. If anything, I think that's the best thing I can do to make sure our sirs are all comfortable. Mm, I mean, true. I wonder why you're not popular. I would think that everything that you're doing would be worth something. Uh, what? You're watching? Yeah, when you're taking things from the kitchen, you're always saying thank you. I saw that too. Uh, stop looking so much, weirdo. What? I told her that I'd help her out as much as possible to help her become more popular. Hmm, I think the easiest thing we can do is change your looks. Huh? Looks? Yeah, like how you walk, pretending to be a little clumsy, that kind of thing. What is that? Mm, I mean, that's just what sells. Okay, fine. I'll try. Afterwards, she started working hard to become more popular. I was happy to see her practice in front of me, but I was there to just try to help her. A tutor, if you will. I wanted to ignore all of the non-pure thoughts and help her. Okay, let's make your hair a twin ponytail, huh? <laughs> they love twin ponytails! Um, like this? Yeah, that's perfect! Oh my god, she's adorable! Next, let's try the knee socks, huh? You ever heard of an uh, infallible area? Um, no, I haven't heard of it. You're wearing tights, so it doesn't really work. But if you wear knee highs up to the edge of your skirt, it really helps us otakus out. Change into these. Th this is the infallible area? It, it, it helps my legs look longer, too. Uh, how have I not known about this? I think it looks great. Oh, she's hot. Next, let's work on your gait. Copy me. Under my supervision, she worked hard and she studied to become a great maid. She had improved drastically. A few months later... Keiichi, I did it! I'm much more popular now and I ranked top three this month! Oh wow, that's crazy! Congrats, Miss Rurina! It's all thanks to you, Keiichi! Thank you! <laughs> I mean, I'm a little upset that you have more fans now. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, I didn't ask you, but I was wondering, why did you start working at a maid cafe? And you wanted to become popular so badly. <sighs> I guess I can tell you. I have a lot of sisters. Four, to be exact. Uh, four sisters? So we don't really have much money. I figured that a maid cafe pays well, so... I want to go to college and do what I want to do, so I figured I could try to save up money for my tuition. That way, I can help my parents out too. If I get more popular, I get paid more! Really? That's why you were wearing something you didn't want to wear, huh? Huh? Did I say that I didn't want to wear a maid outfit? Uh, huh? <laughs> 
I know a lot of people think I'm kind of tough or something, but I actually like kawaii things, you know? I've never gotten anything kawaii, but I study hard and work harder, so I can't really say that I like maids and stuff and things like that. You know? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people would be surprised to hear that. No! You better not tell anyone. This is a secret between you and me. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, Keiichi. Is it alright if I thank you for everything? I can show you all of the things you've taught me, if you'd like. Uh huh? It's okay. Seriously, the other fans will be uh, so mad. Like, you're my personal maid or something. I've always planned on becoming your personal maid. Huh? Her house. Eh? No one's home yet. Uh, what? Uh, are you sure this is okay? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Welcome home, sir. Th thank you for uh, having me over. <laughs> no, no. Not thank you for having me over. Huh? I'm home, right? Oh, uh, I, I'm home. There you go. My name is Kento Oikawa. I'm just a regular high schooler who just started my senior year. Huh? I, I came here to work, but where was the teacher's lounge? Uh, you okay? Oh, I was just a little lost. Ah! Uh, oh. Sorry, sorry for being so jumpy. Y yes. Oh, uh, you needed help. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the te teacher's l l l lounge. Uh, hey, uh, you should just calm down first. Correction: It is pretty difficult to pretend that I am a regular student. I'm pretty tall and have a scary demeanor. My parents taught me karate, and I'm pretty sure that's what gives off the sense of danger to others around me. I'm not even a delinquent student. Most people who see me for the first time are still afraid to see me. <sighs> she apologized, but I have feelings too, you know. I may look like this, so you might not believe me, but... Oh! Welcome home, Kento! Uh, what is that mountain of letters? I have a beautiful sister. Her name is Yuzaha, and she's a junior in high school. You really can't believe that we share any genes. And of course, she's always popular. Hey, the second I started my junior year, it's just been nothing but challenging letters left and right. You know that those are letters asking you out, right? What? But I have to have them fight you to start dating me. I need them to defeat the man of my dreams before they think they have a chance at all. Uh, that again? Yes, Yuzuha is popular. I don't know why she's like this, but she's always thought that I'm her perfect man. So, based off of that, she doesn't seem to care about other men at all. Yuzuha, you need to stop being so in love with your brother. You're always saying things like that at school like it's nothing, so I'm always being teased as some kind of... sister lover. Ah, uh, yeah, I always hear that people are saying that you love love me. Yeah, exactly. It's not even a rumor. It's just a fact. It's not a fact! Huh? You don't love me? I... I love you as a family member. I don't have any interest in you as a partner. So do you ever fall in love with anyone? D sh shut up! I don't have anyone like that. Huh? Is it a package? I'm gonna go answer the door. We don't want to give the delivery guy a heart attack now, do we? That's rude. Who is it? S sorry I'm Megumi Nishikawa. Huh? Huh? M Miss Megumi? Y Yuzaha, I'll get the door. Oh. M Miss Megumi, uh, hello. Uh, can I uh, help you? Uh, oh, uh, um, y y you just forgot your homework. Oh, that. Oh, crap. I totally forgot it at school. My bad. Thanks, Miss Megumi. Uh, I'll be going now. Oh. Uh, I scared her again. Her name was Megumi Nishikawa. She's the class president. 
She works in the library committee too, and she often reads books and studies in the library. She's the typical class president. She's in the cooking club, and you can tell just by looking at her that she's not threatening. I want to get closer to her, but maybe it's my looks? Just talking to her a little bit makes her run away. I tried growing out my hair and wearing glasses, but to no avail. Hmm, I'm sure she brought the homework for me because she had to as the class president, but she probably didn't want to. <sighs> hey, who is that, Kento? Oh, uh, that's my class president. She brought me my homework that I left in class. Ah, that's the girl you like, huh? Uh, what? Sh sh shut up! No way! What are you? <laughs> I see, I see. Ah, I totally see now. Uh-huh. What's going on, Yuzuha? Huh? <laughs> what is that look? Are you scheming? You're scaring me. <sighs> I finished off my club work. Time to head home. The new club members were scared of me too, but uh, oh well, I'm used to it. Maybe I'll swing by the cooking club. I'm just gonna walk by. I'm just walking by. I need to pass by to get to the entrance. I might be able to see Miss Megumi's face if I'm lucky. Huh? It's pretty loud when it's normally so quiet all the time. Oh, hey! Uh, Yuzuha! What are you doing? I am a proud member of the cooking club from today! What? Why? You're a junior! Yeah, but Megumi helped me out and she's teaching me how to cook! Oh, she's so good! What? But, Miss Megumi! Oh, hey, K K Kento. Hey, you need to stop! Get off her! What? Girls are more touchy than boys, it's fine! Yeah, but there's gotta be boundaries. Get off her! Whatever. Try our freshly baked cookies. <sighs> Why? Shut up! Here! Uh... Ooh, how is it? It's full of love. Mm, it's good. I don't need your love. <laughs> <sighs> Weirdo. Don't bother her. Mm, what is she thinking? Joining the same club as Miss Megumi. I don't get it. I guess I can ask Dr. Google. Ding dong! Search results! The emotions that a younger sister experienced when she finds out who her lovely older brother likes is jealousy! D jealousy There are a few different scenarios. Don't steal my brother, which turns into a pretty gruesome scene, and my brother comes home and has beep with me! Or my brother is a terrible person. These are some of the lies that may be used against him. No way! I, I'm sure she would do that, but not that much, right? No way. I'm home! Uh, you, you're late. You didn't bother her, did you? Nah, we finished cooking and had some tea together. What? Oh, and we're going to be going on a date next Sunday. What? After that day, she continued to really approach Miss Megumi and show off how close she was to me. Hey! I've got a small gift for you, Kento! But what? I didn't invite you here! I'm literally cleaning up and heading home now! Wow, it's his younger sister from the rumors! They really don't look anything alike! Looking at her invigorates me! Y you little! Here, we just made these donuts. Our cooking teacher said that we can give you just one. Woo! She's so good at this. Uh, um, K Kento? Oh, sorry about that, Miss Megumi. I know my sister is getting in your hair. I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I can tell. It's got love in it, right? <laughs> it does have a lot of love in it, huh? Hmm? Day off. Look! Couples only limited edition parfait! I've always wanted to try this. Oh, don't drag out Miss Megumi for your stupid hobbies. Why are you getting so close to Miss Megumi after a month of cooking club anyway? What's your motive? 
You aren't trying to say something to her that you don't need to. Oh, and I'm going to be going on a date with her tomorrow, too. Uh-huh. And? There's a good chance she asks me out. Huh? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go get ready. <laughs> Dr. Google... Results! She may be trying to win over your crush so that she gives you a sense of defeat to become obedient to her. What the hell is that twisted logic? It may be that she's simply interested in the same person as well. Ah, uh, these are both terrible outcomes. No, Miss Megumi asking out Yuzuha. No way, right? In front of the station. Oh, what is that guy? He looks sketchy as hell. We should avoid him. Mm, I put on my disguise, but I think it's attracting more attention. But if I'm going to stalk them, I should dress up like this. Oh, there's someone! I can't tell from behind, but I think it's Miss Megumi. I need to get closer just to check quietly. Mommy! That person is following someone really obviously! Shh! Don't look at him! Hmm, the shopping mall. They bought accessories. Stop making her follow you around your little shopping trips. Why is she... Uh, sir? Oh! I'm sorry, can I help you find anything today? Uh, oh, uh, sorry. Uh, I'm not suspicious. I'm just uh, tailing someone. Ooh, tailing? Oh, that's suspicious. Uh, no, 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 seriously, it's, it's not that big of a deal. My sister was acting weird, so I just wanted to follow her. What? Where did she go? Uh, sorry, I gotta go. S sir? Fifteen minutes later. God damn it. Where did those two go? Ah! Huh? Is that Yuzuha screaming? From outside? Yuzuha! Megumi! Huh? Oh, heh, there he is. Took him long enough. Huh? Yuzuha? Is that? Yeah, it's Megumi. What? I always thought she was cute, but... She's even cuter without glasses. Hey, Miss Megami, how about you ask him out already? No one's going to come out here. Y yeah. Huh? Did, did she just say, ask out? No way. She's going to make her do it in front of me? K Kento, I... M Megami! I like you. Please go out with me. Uh, huh? What? Huh? Man, parfaits after seeing two lovebirds get together is the best! <sighs> okay, explain. You remember how Megami brought you your homework? I thought it was weird that she would bring you your homework when she's scared of you, so I decided to talk to her and apparently you two liked each other. What? Both of us liked each other, but you always run away from me and... No, um, th th that's just because I got super nervous around you. I haven't even said or done anything around you, though. No, you helped her out when she was too afraid to ask for help, remember? I'm sure you wanted to get closer, too, but part of it was just you wanting to help out, right? Uh, I mean... That's why we made snacks and stuff, to help you out! What? Miss Megumi made that? So you're seriously slow. <sighs> that was a good parfait. I'm gonna go home now, so you two go have fun, huh? Make sure you answer her. I really made sure she dressed up for your date. Uh, sorry, I, I thought you were going to take her from me. <laughs> of course not. I just want you to be happy. She, she's so cool and kind. Uh, yeah, we're not the same at all in looks and personality. <laughs> You're almost as nice as her, too. Uh, oh, uh, c can you answer my question from earlier? Miss Megumi, if you're okay with a guy like me, I'd love to go out with you. <sighs> Absolutely! That's how my younger sister, although a little forced, caused Miss Megumi and I to go out. One day at the office, Ah, let's get some work done! Uh, you seem, uh, motivated. <laughs> yeah! I'm Eiji Nakamoto, just an ordinary businessman. 
I didn't really like work. I usually try to take it easy, but a few days ago, everything changed. Good morning! <sighs> She's here! Her name was Moe Komachi. She got transferred to our department a few days ago. She was a year younger than me, and she was really my type. So, I wanted to show off in front of her. Mr. Nakamoto, thanks for covering for me the other day. Of course. Don't worry about it. <laughs> thanks. Wait, you're done with that already? You got that assignment yesterday. Oh, this? <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. Wow, you're so good at your job. <laughs> thanks. All right. But I hear the other guys are trying to get with her too. I gotta keep going. Nakamoto, can I have a word? <laughs> Nakamoto! Uh, huh? What are you smiling about? Uh, hi, Miss Sugita. This is Misuzu Sugita. She was my boss. She was a hardworking person, but there was one problem. So, have you been studying? The exam for the certificate program is coming up. Oh, uh, not really. I just don't have enough time. But these days, you always go home as soon as the bell rings. What do you mean, you don't have enough time? Uh, I actually started going to the gym to get in shape for Kamachi, but I better not say that. Well, uh, I've been trying, but I don't know. I'm just always so tired when I get home and... Uh, whatever. Look, I got a new assignment for you. I need it ASAP. What? But I already got enough on my plate. No? You're saying no to me? Uh, uh, of course not. Uh, I'll have it on your table by tomorrow. Alright, good. Once you're done with that, let's have a study session for your exam. We still got time. Uh, okay. She was always burying me in work, and she was always making me study for all kinds of certificate programs. It helps me show off to Kamachi, but it was still a bit too much. The next day... <sighs> This is so confusing. I better ask her about this, but she looks so busy. Uh, excuse me, do you have a minute? Huh? What is it? Oh, uh, actually, never mind. It's nothing. Oh, she's so scary. I can never talk to her when she's like this. Lunch. Miss Sugita hates you, dude. Huh? You think so too? Yeah. She's always glaring at you and stuff. Uh, yeah. I have no idea why, though. I'm kind of jealous, though. She's really pretty. At least you get to talk to her. <laughs> what? All she ever does is yell at me. She scares me. Sorry to hear that. Oh well, she's like that to everyone, so don't worry too much. I guess. But I feel like she's extra hard on me. She's pretty too, sure, but... She's so scary. Komachi's the one for me! A few days later, she put me in charge of this project, and Komachi was on my team. Y you are putting me in charge? Uh, yeah. I'm counting on you. Oh, thank you! Looking forward to working with you, AG! Yeah, same here! Oh, this is my chance! Thank you, Miss Sugita! So, here's my idea. Wow, that's amazing! You're so creative! <laughs> Thanks. It's nothing, though. Oh, finally, things were starting to go my way. Then one day, I heard Komachi talking to her colleague in the break room. So, you want that new bag by Comic Heaven, huh? Huh? You should ask your boyfriend to get it for you. But I don't even have a boyfriend. Uh, I wish I did. My supervisor is kind of cute, though. Hmm. Maybe I should ask him. Wait. What? Is she talking about me? Oh, this is my chance. I'm gonna get her that bag and ask her to go out with me. So I booked a nice restaurant and asked her out on a date. Dinner. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, oh this place looks fancy. <laughs> sure thing. Uh, here. I got something for you. Huh? What's this? Uh, is that? Oh, wow! Komachi, I really like you. Will you go out with me? Yes! She said yes! I was so excited! The dinner was pretty expensive, but I didn't even care! So, we started going out. I basically paid for everything, but I didn't care. As long as she was having fun. Then one day, during lunch... Ah, oh, this place is nice. I'm gonna bring her here this weekend. <laughs> for real? Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna break up with him. 
Huh? I didn't think he'd actually buy me the bag. Anyways, I think I'm done with him. He's a loser, so he should be grateful that I went out with him, even if it was only for a week. <laughs> oh, you're horrible. Oh, no. Huh? What was that? Huh? At a bench. <sighs> what am I doing? I gotta get back to work. I ran off before she could see me. I was shocked. I didn't know what to do. I just sat there, unable to move. But then... <sighs> uh, Miss Sugita, what is she doing here? She never talks to me outside of work. I know what you're going through. Don't let her get to you. Focus on something else. And, uh, don't expect too much from people. Makes life much easier. Huh? W what are you talking about? Uh, you and Komachi. I know, okay? I can read you like a book. <laughs> you here to rub it in my face? No, I knew it would happen. And I knew you liked her. And I knew that she was like that too. What? Why didn't you tell me anything then? You wouldn't have believed me. Love makes people blind. <laughs> you know that. You probably would have thought I was jealous or something. <laughs> what? No. You're pretty, and you're really strong. I look up to you. Oh? You're hitting on me now? You don't like Komachi anymore? W what? No, it's not like that. Come on. Break is almost over. Time to head back. If you still feel down after work, uh, tell me. I'll take you out for drinks. Uh, huh? If you don't want to, that's fine. Uh, no, uh, I'd like that. Uh, what's this place? Um, it's a bar? Uh, no, I know that, but... Look, Nakamoto, I wanted you to be tough. I've been pushing you really hard, I know that. But I only did it because I care about you. I wanted you to learn the ropes. And you did, right? Huh? Uh, yeah. But I still got a lot to learn. I can't believe I let Komachi trick me like that. <sighs> Some people are like that. But her way of doing things, it'll catch up to her. Trust me, I know. I once dated a guy like her and, uh, uh yeah. Miss Sugita. What? I feel much better. Thank you. You said not to expect much from people, but... If you want someone to lean on, I'm here for you. But only as your boss. If you're looking for someone to date, go find someone else. I'm an old woman now. <laughs> what? No, you're not. I'm 30. So what? You're beautiful. Ah, uh, stop saying that. I really look up to you too. And I really enjoy working with you. Ah, <sighs> fine. How about this then? Huh? If you get promoted to section chief like me, you can hit on me. What? Really? Really. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna work my ass off. Good to hear. So, we had a deal. I started working like crazy at work. A few years later, she got married and quit her job. On her last day, she came to work wearing the ring I got her. She was so beautiful. I'm glad everything worked out. This is Shinji Yagami. He just came here from Tokyo. Make him feel welcome. I heard he got expelled from his last school. His family is rich, apparently. His daddy always cleaned up his mess for him, but I guess this time it wasn't good enough. So we sent him to the countryside until things cooled down a bit. Damn, dude. Huh, <sighs> sounds like they've heard the rumors. Most of them were lies, but I didn't really care. Who needs friends? They were right about one thing, though. My family was rich. As a kid, I got everything I wanted, but my parents were rarely home. I was basically raised by my housekeepers. Shenji, we're friends, right? Uh, sure. Only when you need me. When I was in high school, these bad kids always asked me to lend them money. I didn't have time to deal with them, so I always gave them the money. Plus, they kept the other bad kids away from me, so they were like my bodyguards. But then... Excuse me, I have some questions for your son and his friends. One day, the cops came to our house. One of the bad kids I gave money to got into some trouble, and they said that I was one of them. <sighs> Why are you hanging out with idiots like them? Everyone in town is gonna hear about this. My parents were really upset, so they decided to ship me off to this place until things cooled down a bit. One Sunday morning, Mr. Shinji, happy birthday. What would you like for dinner? 
Uh, I don't really care. Just make me whatever. Nobody cares about my birthday anyways. Okay. Oh, and, um, there's someone at the door for you. Huh? That's odd. I headed to the door. Shinji! Happy birthday! Look, I got a gift for you. Me! <laughs> it was some dumb girl covered in ribbons. Ah, stop pushing me! <sighs> Go home. I came all this way to celebrate your birthday! Uh, how do you know my birthday? I know everything about you, including things you don't even know about yourself. Uh, you're scaring me. Would you like some tea? Yes, please! With milk, please. Get out! This is Kasumi. She was one of my classmates. She was one of the popular girls. She had lots of friends. So, where are your parents? They're here, right? No. What? But, but, but it's your birthday! I was hoping to see them today! <laughs> In that outfit? And why? You're not even my girlfriend. What? I thought we were engaged. <sighs> Shut up. Drink that and go home. Got it? Oh. Kids at school were scared of me. They thought I was connected with some scary people or something. Everyone just stayed away from me. Well, everyone except for her. Uh, why are you here anyways? To celebrate my lover's birthday! Uh, what do you like about me? Uh, everything! <sighs> You're not a very good liar. She wanted my money, that's for sure. That's why she was all over me. She was like this at school too. I always tried to ignore her, but she just didn't give up. Ah, uh, leave me alone already. This is just like in the movies. Huh? You know, after school, library, things get kind of hot and... Uh, go home. Oh, you want our first time to be more, uh, normal? What? There's not gonna be a first time. <laughs> we were in the library one day. Then, this guy came up to us. Shut up! Huh? I'm trying to study here. Keep quiet or get out! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, is that Ikeda? He's like the quiet kid in class. Oh, <laughs> I guess he really cares about his grades. Eh, I guess. Maybe his parents are really strict or something? Oh... I wish my parents would care about me like that. A few days later, I saw Ikeda again at a bookstore. Hmm? What the...? He was acting all weird. I knew something was up. I went up to him and grabbed his arm. N Yagami! <sighs> Stop it. Stop what? If you want something, I'll buy it for you. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I saw you. Look, my grades are falling. I got no choice. You want to make your parents proud, right? This isn't gonna help. It's none of your business! I know, but... Screw you! <sighs> that hurts. I, I told you to leave me alone! Then, the store staff saw us fighting. He took us to the back room. A few minutes later, his mom came. I was able to stop him from shoplifting, but a store staff called our parents anyways for fighting. Then, as soon as she walked through the door, she said, My son would never do anything! Anything like this! It was probably the new kid! It's him you want, not my son! She yelled at the store staff. Are you his father? No, ma'am, uh, I'm his driver. I'm trying to reach them, but. Then our teacher arrived. It was him, okay? This is all his fault! My son is the victim here! Uh, hold on, settle down. I know he caused some trouble at his old school, but we can't just jump to conclusions. Let's at least hear him out," said the teacher, but I think he believed her. It wasn't looking good for me. <sighs> Whatever, I just want to go home. Meanwhile... Oh, Yagami and Ikeda are in trouble. They did something at the bookstore. What? What happened? No idea. Maybe shoplifting? Or they got in a fight? What? Oh no! Call the cops on him already!
me. What? But... I don't want him in the same class as my son. But... Uh, not sure if we should get the cops involved. Ikeda's mom and the teacher started arguing. It just kept going back and forth like this for a while. Then, someone else showed up. Shinji! Kasumi? What the... What happened? He was picking on my son! What? That's not possible. What are you doing here? Go home. I got this. You believe her? What? I... Shinji would never do that! I'm telling you! Kasumi... Shinji doesn't talk much, and he's really unfriendly. And I know the rumors about him, too. But those are all lies! He's a really good person! I know him! This one time, when he found a dead cicada on the ground, he grabbed it and buried it next to a tree. He's really sweet! And as I learned more about him, I fell in love! What? At first, I was only interested in him because of the money, but not anymore! I know him! You gotta listen to him! Please! She said with tears in her eyes. Then, someone knocked on the door. Dad! It was my dad. He didn't say anything to me. I'm his father. I'm sorry about this. Did you guys call the cops? Uh, not yet. This is my fault. I'll punish him accordingly, and I'll pay for all the damages done to the bookstore. I'm gonna go see the principal after this to tell him about what happened myself. Um... Kasumi interrupted him. Oh, she better not say anything stupid. You're not even gonna hear him out! Stop trying to make this go away! Listen to your son! And another thing, why weren't you at his home on his birthday? You can't be that busy! All you care about is yourself! What's wrong with you?! She yelled at him. <laughs> I'm sorry! Then, Ikeda started crying. He finally came clean and told them everything. After that, we were let go. That night, Dad took me out to dinner. Oh, well, this is a first. It was pretty awkward, but... Shinji, sorry about today. And your birthday. Your mom and I are gonna go out and get you something nice. Huh? He said to me on our way home. I was kind of surprised. Ikida and his mom came and apologized to me the next day. Uh, hey. Shinji. So, uh, you're not interested in me anymore? You've been kind of quiet lately. Well, I did yell at your father, so... I don't know. I don't think he'll ever let me marry you. A and I know you're not interested in me, so... <laughs> you sure put him in his place. <laughs> that was awesome. Huh? And, uh, you were the only one that believed me. Thanks for that. Shinji... And, uh, you were in love with me? For real? <laughs> All those things you said the other day... What? I, uh, no? I mean, I don't know. Maybe you were never after my money in the first place. You were just saying that, weren't you? What? Um, I... And Dad, he wasn't mad at you. R really And you don't really annoy me anymore. I got used to it, so uh, if you want, maybe uh, you should keep trying. <laughs> okay! Yay! <laughs> wow! The incident at the bookstore revealed a side of Kasumi I never knew about. At first, I was kind of annoyed by her, but now... I really liked her. What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.